Okay, here we have, um, I think I mentioned it in the previous video, um, the 1466 0165 motherboard. Now this one, um, it's not an eBay find, this was um, my own laptop, which I bought new around 2017, 18, I think, something like that. And I poured a cup of coffee over it. So, I thought, let's... Um, Let's see if I can get it to work. And it's a good thing to play with and test because, yeah, don't want to break people's computers. Right, okay, so we've got... Oh, I've lost the wire. Yeah, they're not... Re it's not remembering the... Um, well, it remembers the windows, but it's assigning like a unique ID to them for some reason. Right, let's switch the power on. Let's see what happens. So this is a chipmunk. So if you get a green light, which it's not going to get because it's not spinning. Hmm. So let's check some voltages. Oh, tangled. Did I have that plugged in the wrong place? Let's see. Right. See if we've got any voltage at all. So it's saying we've got five volts. So one of these should be five volts. Oh, why is it? It keeps defaulting to low. Right. Yeah. So we have five volts. So let's check. I can never remember the name of them. I think it's G3 Hot. This is. I know this is the fuse though. 8.59 so it's 8.6 that is supposed to be so that's correct so we've got it on both sides now I was watching um, oh, what's his name Adam Adam IT Adam no. oh, let me let me find it okay there we go so this one I've been playing with for uh, <laughs> a long time yeah I did get it working once and then I don't know what I don't know what I did to it because I managed to get it up and running and I basically copied all the data off of it um, so I had to have a backup of it but um, right, I think I think this the last got time I got on it I think I actually took something off so I think Let's reference where that is. Oh, yeah, this is um, Flex Board View software by Paul Daniels. Absolutely superb. Um, right, where are we? Right, so we're on the side with the chips, which is this one. So, which. So that's at the bottom. So it's one or something up here. I can't remember if I took it off. I think I did, yeah. So basically, this chip here, I've taken it off. So that's probably why it's not coming on. So we're going to have to replace that first. So let's find my. What did I do with my stash? Yeah, so I, did, I managed to get some cheap um, like balls that I could play with. Uh, what's this one? Um, oh, this is the 1.7, 4 gig of RAM. Where's the number? Oh, there it is, is that? 8203023. Uh, as you can see, the 
it's got what it's something it's been bought damaged it was bought damaged anyway it's bought non-working but yeah just gave me something to play with but i was fortunate enough to get the exact same as this this is a 1.6 8 gig of ram which i can well basically the plan was to use this one as spare parts to fix this one so the chip that we've got to get off of here, I believe, is this one. What's the um, hang on. Is that that? Oh, it's that. That is the chip there. So I didn't lose it. Yeah, so I think we've got to take... Is that right? So it's, uh, if you can see, yeah, it's a bit small. So, yes, yeah, this one here. So, this one here, we've got to take it off and stick it on there. Right. Fortunately, this is a heat proof mat. Let's take this off. Let's get some of these cables out the way because otherwise I'm, <coughs> I'm going to melt them have to be careful with these because these are um <laughs> these these ones are quite sharp stabbed myself in the leg a few times okay let's turn the power let's turn that power off before i short circuit something oh there is one of the sort of short circuits i'm pretty sure i killed some killed a board um i don't think it was this one i think it was uh one of the I've got uh, another i7, so a 15-inch i7, which I've got to play with. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, so basically what I did was I was using um, the probes, or the uh, multimeter probes, to test some voltages, and I, fi and I caught, or I basically short circuited a chip to ground or one of the live pins to ground. I was leaning it over just a little bit too far and it went <coughs> and it went pop. But again, it just uh, it'll be interesting to go through it and see if I can figure out which <laughs> which was the bit that I actually broke. Keep that in a safe place. Right, let's put those on there. Keep them out of the way. Okay, I'm going to need the hot air gun. Right, so we need to take it off of here first. I do need actually to. Or do I just put this one back? Because I'm not, yeah, I'm not actually sure if there is actually something wrong with it. So let's put this one back. Right. Oh, it just pinged. Right. Right. We need. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Let's see if I can remember which one's which. Yeah, is it that one? Yeah, it is. Uh, 
It does look like there's a quite a lot of flux um, just gunked in place on there. Oh, that picture is so much better. Switch back to over top. Right. <laughs> Stop laughing at the squeak. Let's put my glasses on. Right. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, is that still still a little bit warm? Let's put this back in. Right, okay. Let's uh, just get the chipmunk in. Get some, let's turn the power on. Well, we have green light, but no fan spin. Oh, this is also the one. Yeah, I'll have to check on the microscope. It's the, uh, this is the one that I broke the connector on. Yeah, 
Right, so let's check this chip here because this is what I originally wanted to do. So let's go to there. Where's my mouse? Right, where's the CPU? Right, so it's this chip, this one. Because I think it had. Okay, so let's check. Let's check the voltages on it. Uh, which one's the scope number three? There we go. Right, so this is the chip. So we want so pin one. Pin one should be three point three volts. Let's see on voltage. So pin one, which is this one, so I should be able to check that there. It's one point two. Oh, that's not good. That should be that should be three point three. So pin one is PP three B three S five. Let's check pin two oh no. Pin two or oh I don't think I can get to that. One point two. Pin three. Oh, they, they haven't got voltage, they've just got diodes. Let's do some diode measurements then. Uh, let's take that one out. Let's put the... So let's see what the so that one so pin one should be three point five. So pin one. That should not be open. Let's check. Does help if you've got the multimeter lead plugged in the right place, doesn't it? Yes. Right, let's check this one. Ah, so you know it works. Turn that damn beeper off. Right, so pin one. 0 0.31, that's close enough. Pin two should be 0.51. Pin two, pin two, point three four, it's a bit low. Pin three should be six point three. Oh, am I actually hitting pin three now? Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, that's pin three. Yeah, that's close enough. Pin four point six. Pin four is the one on. Oh, I've lost the probe. There it is. Uh, that's that test pad. Point six four. Yeah, close enough. Five is ground, and then six should be six two five. Six. That's close enough. Yeah. So the the issue um, that he found was that this chip this chip was broken. So maybe it is because there should be voltages on that, and there isn't. 
Yes, uh, let's plug some power back in. And just make sure I wasn't being a twat. Right, pin one, which is there. So pin one should be 3.3, .3, so 3.34, that's close enough. So pin two should be 3 volts. Pin two, that's also 3.3, that's, I think that's too high. Ooh, wrong mouse. Yeah, that should be three volts. Uh, yeah, it should be three volts, not three point three. So this one is three point three, but this one should be three. That's not. This one should be 3.3. .3. So where does that come from? PPV3 sus. Typical sus, sus what? Well. The quick fix I was hoping for is not going to happen, so yeah, we keep looking. 